lecture last night I was preparing the lecture for you. It's a virtual lecture because a number of people from various parts of the country participated in preparing the lecture. So when I finished the lecture, I asked myself what the message I'm conveying. So I was not satisfied with the lecture. Then I called one of my friends. After completing my lecture, which I was preparing for addressing the experts like you and parliamentarians, with experience developing vaccine for preventing HIV AIDS and its application, I thought I must consult my friend, Professor C. Padmanabhan, who is a renowned biotechnologist in the country. I presented to him the exact situation and the challenges our bioscientists are encountering in development of a vaccine for preventing HIV and AIDS. First I asked him, since Professor Padmanabhan is a leading a program developing an anti-malaria vaccine, he is an expert in the field, he is developing an anti-malaria vaccine, the status of that vaccine development I asked him. He told me, Professor told me, there are some similarities between malaria and HIV AIDS. Of course, HIV AIDS is more complex. Regarding the progress in the development of vaccine against malaria, he said he still went through a number of routes. One of the routes which uses molecule of turmeric, molecule of turmeric, has shown great promise and this vaccine is undergoing phase one trials, you know, on, on building patients and awaiting a drug controller's clearance and the next phase funding we have to follow. In the analogy, it's a very interesting analogy, the Indian people will appreciate. Professor Padram gave the analogy from our epic Ramayana. He said, Ramayana, Rama during the wars was trying to kill Ravan for chopping his head one after the other. Unfortunately, for every head he chopped, a new head cropped up. Since Ravana was multi-headed personality, Rama looking at the situation, finally pierces an arrow in the heart region of Ravana where he had stolen and kept Sita before keeping the Asugama. This hit, this hit takes the life of Ravana and brings victory to Sri Rama. The same strategy, the same strategy is required for dealing with finding a vaccine for preventing the damage caused by multiple mutations of HIV AIDS virus. The HIV scientist, HIV research scientist, should find out which is the light point of HIV AIDS virus. This is the message Professor Padmanabhan has given and with his vast experience. Now friends, I am delighted to participate in the inauguration of the International Symposium on accelerating India's response to research for a preventive HIV vaccine organized by the Ministry of Science and Technology in partnership with the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and Forum of Parliamentarians and on HIV AIDS and New Day. My greetings to the political leaders, administrators, policymakers, opinion leaders, scientists, technologists, educators participating in this symposium. Friends, I realize for our country the important current health missions to combat TB, waterborne diseases like diarrhea, and vector-borne diseases like malaria, apart from cardiac diseases such as cancer. However, for the past decade, HIV AIDS has been threatening to become a silent killer. Since it takes nearly a decade to detect the infection to recognition of the fatal disease symptom on an affected person. What I am, when I am with you, I would like to discuss on the topic HIV Free India Emission. HIV Free India Emission, that's my topic for the next 10 minutes. Today in our country, all year group put together have the incidence of 2.39 million HIV cases, 163, 163 out of 611 districts in the country have high proportion of HIV cases. As per the UN report, India has half the number of adults newly infected during the last decade by eight response to manufacture of genetic anti-retroviral uh, retroviral drugs. I congratulate the NACO and other researchers for this unique effort. Determining the genetic nature of HIV that will lead to its cure. The genetic nature when studied is based on not DNA, as you know. Most retroviruses have only 50%. The typical drug which has been developed and produced abroad or with equally good results. 
One university abroad has tried a combination of A and B. India and Iran and to start a mission for preventive vaccine against HIV development. While developing the vaccine for preventing HIV AIDS, I would like to make the following suggestion for reducing the incidence of HIV AIDS and also pain of the HIV AIDS affected individual. Number one, translation and health science and technical institute should have other research partners and particularly an empowered team from pharma manufacturers uh, commencing the research to production vaccine for preventing HIV AIDS. This team should identify and characterize neutralizing antibody and develop full vaccine, not just to verify the work of others. We spend a lot of time verifying the work of others. Consider taking up control and prevention of HIV AIDS through an adequate, adequate program in different localities. The occurrence of HIV is found to be 83% among the adults in the age group of 15 to 49. Considering this situation, political leaders, in political leaders, in partnership with local education institutions, can organize awareness campaigns among all the people falling in this age group so that they can take care of themselves from falling as a victim of this HIV infection. Creating a mechanism in partnership with societal organizations, medical institutions, and government for testing the blood for any contamination and ensuring that the contaminated blood is not stored in any of the blood banks in the country. 